it's really important initially to establish the difference between the volume of a cuboid and the total surface area. Now the volume refers to the amount of substance within um, a three-dimensional shape. And the really good news about finding the volume of a cuboid is it's incredibly straightforward because a cuboid is a prism. And in mathematics, a prism is any three-dimensional shape that has a constant cross-section. So if we look at this three-dimensional shape here, we can see that actually this is a good example of a prism. It has a constant cross-section. So if I actually splice it into little bits along here, all of these little bits would be the same. Uh, so effectively, this is a good example of a prism. And calculating the volume of prisms is very, very straightforward. This shape here, as interesting though it is in three dimensions, which only has one face, uh, but it's in three dimensions, this is uh, an example of a shape that's not a prism, so it doesn't have um, a constant cross section. So when I'm calculating the volume um, of a cuboid, it's very, very straightforward, because all I need to do is to find uh, the uh, cross sectional area, and I'm going to multiply that by the length. So the volume of any cuboid is just the area of the face times the length. So in this particular example, what I have to do is to write down V equals, um, if I go length times height times width, I can see it's remarkably easy to work at the volume of a cuboid. In this case, I'm just going to substitute the values, and I get V is equal to 5 times 3 times 4, because the 5 times 3 is the cross-sectional area. Because I know that 5 times 3 <coughs> is 15, and 15 times 4 is equal to 60, I can see that my total volume <coughs> excuse me, is 60 metres cubed. So the total volume of my cuboid is 60 cubic metres. The total surface area of the cuboid is a little bit more complicated. So I have to be really careful when I'm, when I'm working out the total surface area of my cuboid. And effectively, what I need to do here is to work out the total amount of wrapping paper that I would need to completely wrap up or to completely encase of this shape. So we're looking at a two-dimensional problem now, the amount of wrapping paper that would completely encase that shape. So what I need to do in this case is I need to consider the fact that I have six faces. And if I look at the front face, the one that's looking at me now, I can see that the total surface area of that face is five meters by three meters. So what I can actually do here, in a nice calm considered way, is to say that my surface area is equal to, well, I've got a five meter by three meter face here, but there's actually two of those, because I've got one on the front and one on the back. So I'm actually gonna write two times, I'm gonna open up some brackets here, and I'm gonna put five times three. And then I'm going to add two other faces. And if I look at the ends here, I can see that the area of the ends is actually equal to two times four times three. And there are two other uh, rectangles I'm going to consider now, and that's basically the top and bottom here. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, basically I'm going to add two times. Now I've used my five by threes, I've got my four by threes, and I'm looking at this diagram here and I'm thinking, actually I need a five by four. So I then pop five by four into my equation there, and I picked up some invaluable method marks along the way. So what I now need to do, is I just need to finish off this calculation to work at the total surface area of this cuboid. Now I work systematically, and I just say to myself, okay, two times five times three, well, that's two times 15, well, that's 30 meters squared. Um, I'm now going to add to that 30 two lots of the four by threes, and four by three is 12, and two times 12 is, um, is 24. And then I'm going to add two lots of five by fours, 5 times 4 is 20, and 2 lots of 20 gives me my 40. So I'm almost there. So to work out the total surface area, um, I do my three, three different scenarios there, and I end up having to work out 30 plus 24, plus 54, um, plus 9, plus 40, gives me a total uh, surface area of 94 metres squared.
So in summary, to work out the volume um, of a cuboid is very straightforward. We're just multiplying um, the base length times the height times the width. Really straightforward. The surface area, we need to be careful because we're looking at the total amount of wrapping paper. So I've got two lots of the 5x3, I've got two lots of the 4x3, two lots of the 5x4, keep it nice and straightforward. And add together my three results and I end up with a total surface area of 94 metres squared. And that's volume and the total surface area of a cuboid. Good luck from the Collins team.